What up, what up? Fucking, I just got off. I just dropped the video earlier, so I'm gonna try to drop this one before my daughter gets home. Um, so I wanted, to, I wanted to touch down on like places we slept. I, I know I did one here a while back, like for bridges, squats, and tunnels and stuff. So I'm just gonna touch base on some fucking bridges, you know what I mean? Like, I got a story about my boy Jailbird J. I met him when I was 16, I, like I told you guys, I was a teen runaway, and the first time I ran away, I hitchhiked with my boy Lance Eknall, they don't care if I put their names, Camel Mike, the Ant, Nacho, Lance, or I mean Lane, um, so we, we, we took off, you know what I mean, I was young, I was like, fuck it, we're gonna go to a show in Tempe, Arizona, Leftover Crack. And we're skaters, I never hauled the freight train, but it's something I wanted to do, and they're like, let's hitchhike. And we had our skateboards, and we're hitchhiking fucking through the res, and I think it was Kenta. We're hitching, and fuck, no one would pick us up. It got dark, so we're like, fuck it, bro. We'll just camp out for the night, fucking whatever. It was freezing fucking cold. It was winter, and fuck, we had our skate. We ended up burning our fucking skateboards, our skateboards down to the trucks. Like, we were cold as fuck. We fucking lit them on fire, barely slept. All I had was a flannel. The whole time. And we didn't have bad pets. We didn't have no gear at this time. We're just like, fuck it, bro. Leftover crack and Iskra. And was it Iskra? Yeah, it was Iskra. And fucking, so, who was it? The Reds police or the Navajo police? I forgot what they're called. Uh, fuck. Oh, well, they're like the Reds police. They come up and they're like, what are you doing? We're like, we're hitchhiking. All right, put out the fire. You guys are going to have to go. Start walking again. We ended up getting picked up. Took him all the way to the Flagstaff. Freezing cold there. Fucking. We ended up getting. Uh, what did we do? Oh no. We found these tunnels in Flagstaff. Where the train tracks are. And there's these tunnels. And at this time I had my pit bull brawn. A brindle pit bull. And we're under there. And we had like our little. We had, we went to Walmart. We panhandled. Got these little things to cook on. And with the fire under this fucking tunnel, bro, and the tunnel's not even that fucking high. So we're sitting there, we made a fire, and we're cooking our beans on it, beanie weenies probably, I think was, it was, or like some raviolis. And like, we all pass out drunk, we got a bottle, you know what I mean? We're always drinking out there, and fucking, we're all just getting rowdy, pass out, we leave the fire. Well, I don't know what the fuck happened, the fire blew up, and the embers went everywhere, and fucking... My sleeping bag started melting, catch on fire. My dog woke me up. So, Braun barking. I was like, what the fuck? And I looked down and it's all smoky. You can't even see shit. And I just seen the embers on my shit. I was kicking them off. You know what I mean? I woke everyone up. I was like, fuck, dude. I fucking we caught on fire. They're all like, oh, shit, fuck. We're all hanging bad. Fucking got another fucking little pint. Shared it. I mean, it wasn't much. But then, boom, we're sitting there in Flagstaff. And the ant was 15 years old. You know what I mean? Or 14. He was young as fuck. And the cops came up bitching. But they called his parents. They didn't do shit. That's happened to me a lot too. You know like being in California. I'll get to that later. Being like a, a teen runaway. And like dealing with cops and shit. Like and what they do. I can get to that later at some point. If you guys want to hear that. You know what I mean? But anyways. Let's just go. We're fucking on the interstate in Flagstaff. Got to ride all the way to Tempe. One ride. Boom. In the back of a fucking truck. And the dude let us stay in his storage, which was pretty cool. So we stay in this storage. It's still cold. You know what I mean? He had blankets in there and sleeping bags. We pass out. The next day, we walk from his place. He had to go to work or something. And we fucking split. And we get to this venue and fucking, like, we're haggard. You know what I mean? Like, this dirty fucking dreaded mohawks. I was still young. Um, I think I had a dreaded mohawk. Or if not, I had a mohawk I spray painted green or something back then um uh, just ripped up listening to gg allen they were more the crusty kids you know what i mean political but they were cool with me you know what i mean so it, it is what it was and we get to leftover crack and there's a bunch of pussy ass kids i mean these kids are like trust fund babies you know what i mean like mommy daddy i'm punk rock man i live in a fucking three-story house you know what i mean I, I i drive this fucking lifted truck i'm punk rock i have fucking liberty so I say, man that ain't punk rock bro get the fuck out of here you know fucking punk rock comes from the gutters you know not giving a fuck 
that's punk rock to me, you know what I mean? Like just blah, spitting on each other, fucking hitting each other in the face, you know what I mean? Spitting on in your chick's mouth, you know what I mean? Putting your head through a fucking wall. I mean, that's punk rock, you know? When you're younger, you know what I mean? S slam dancing. These guys were dancing with that hardcore dance where they slam like this. Like, I was just hitting motherfuckers. When, if you dance like that and you do that... That spinning shit in there, dude, I'll knock you the fuck out. Because I slam dance, you know what I mean? Like 80s hardcore shit. So that was my thing, you know what I mean? Um, but other than that, you know, that's that's just kind of a story. I kind of just went off, you know. I haven't really been taking notes, so I should probably do that. But I don't have time. So, but I don't know, like bridges, you know what I mean? Things that we do, we just find a bridge, you know. And fucking, oh yeah, Jailbird J. So, Slide all that aside, fucking Jailbird J. He was in Tempe after the show, and as the first time I met him, he's a giant motherfucker. He was a gutter punk, hot trains for fucking ever. And I didn't. I would see him in other places throughout my travels, but one time I was, I was riding through um, San Antonio, jumped off the train with Connor and Keenan. We hitchhiked to Austin, the Slaughter and Manchuka. And we're trying to hop out, and there's a bunch of kids under that bridge. And if anyone knows that, you know, that's a hop out, you know what I mean? So it's not really giving up the spot. Like, everyone fucking knows. I mean, everybody. But we're down there, and we're, we fucking, we hit a, I ain't gonna say which place we hit, but we got a shitload of space bag, box, wine. So we're all out under there, swilling. And at that time, Jell J was trying to quit drinking, so he's taking Librium. I don't know if he didn't take it or not, but a train sighted, and he just wanted to get the fuck on a train the fuck out. So we lowered him up on a gondola. Two hours, that fucking train was sighted out there in the fucking rain and everything, and it never moved really. And he got off, and he fucking laid down on the sleeping bag. We we're still swilling. Um, we'd wake him up, and he'd take a swill. And then all of a sudden, I forgot her name. She looks over, and he's fucking vomiting blood. Like, his insides are, like, blood, blood out. She calls the hospital. She's digging out his shit, fucking trying to resuscitate him. It's raining at this point. It's raining. And, like, they call down. So I'm running through the side, not the front part where you come in the slaughter. It's that back part with the bushes and all that shit. I don't know. Some of you may know. Yeah, I was running this slipping, sliding, eating shit, trying to get the fucking ambulance. They come down. And, I mean, fucking, they take us all out. And they have him under there with this fucking machine that's like, boom, pumping his heart, fucking everything. Rest in peace, Jelba J. You'll always be missed. I'll always be traumatized from that. You know, it kind of fucked in my head. But they had us across the street at Burger King, and Homicide showed up. Jelba J is always fighting. The motherfucker, Jelba J, you know what I mean? He's from Albuquerque, and I'm from I'm from Farmington, Mexico. He's from Albuquerque, Mexico. Well, that's another story. Me and him, were, we, we talked about it. But... Homicide came and they thought we killed him. You know, they're taking us aside. Did you what'd you do to him? I'm like, he's all this, he's all beat up and he's just dead. And like they ended up come to the conclusion because everyone's crying, you know. I don't cry when people die, you know what I mean? It's just I've seen it a lot, you know what I mean? Um but anyways they end up leaving and fucking we did a memorial for him under the bridge. We had these things made out of railroad spikes. I threw him my fucking rebel flag bandana because he was always wearing one too and I always put it on brawn. I take it up and dog put it on there. You know, um, I ended up getting his Alice pack. Fucking, I rode with the Alice pack I think for three years after that fucking was falling apart. And fucking other people got some of his stuff, you know what I mean? Um, I didn't have a pack at the time. And see me guys, like everyone's like, what are you packing and shit, dude? It depends on what time of the year it is. I, if it's summer, I don't take anything. I, I was too drunk, high on drugs, to take care of a backpack. I couldn't even take care of myself, guys. How the fuck am I going to keep all my gear? You know what I mean? I was always in fights. I was always blacked out. I was always in jail, in, out of jail, every place I went. You know what I mean? Like I say, I've never been to prison, but I've been to county jails everywhere. You know what I mean? Like, everywhere. My, my... Nine, my 18th, my 20th birthday, my 21st birthday, my 23rd, all my birthdays, most of them, up until 23, I should. And then I've been dropped to that too, but you know, it's stupid. It's, it's not that I'm trying to glorify, because you know, a lot of people on here, they glorify that shit, or like the gang life, and I'm not even glorifying this train hopping shit, you know what I mean? I, if I were going to tell you, just don't do it. 
You know what I mean? It's different now from when I was in. And I mean, now you have all these Antifa faggots and you have all this BLM bullshit and all these political motherfuckers hopping trains. Back when I was hopping, you'd get beat the fuck up if you came into our camp like that. Like, straight the fuck up speaking that shit. I see people with anti swastikas. I'd beat your ass. Straight up. I'd hit you. But it's different now, you know what I mean? They're all like, fuck that, you're a Nazi. And it's like, I'm not a Nazi, I'm not a skinhead. You know, not that I have anything against them. I told you guys, I have nothing against them. That's my race, you know what I mean? So I can't hate. Um, and I'm not hating on black people with the BLM shit either. I mean, like, I just it's just what BLM's about, you know what I mean? Or BLM, whatever, and Antifa, you know what I mean? It's anti-white. So, of course, I'm going to say, fuck you. But I, I ain't saying fuck black people or anything like that or fuck Chicanos, nothing like that. I mean, I have my respect, guys. I, I mean, I have homies, you know what I mean? I'm a wood, and that's that, you know what I mean? Um, other places like squats, you know what I mean? Um, banded buildings all over New York, I mean, California, um, anarchist collectives, whatever. I, didn't, I always got kicked out. I went to one in Ogden. I knocked this native dude out for calling me a snowman. Um, with my boy Knuckles, I got left in a pile of blood. I'll, I'll do that one. That'll be a good video my, about my boy Knuckles. And if you're out there, brother, I know you see the tattoos. This is another guy, you know, a lot of my traveling people don't like my tattoos or what they think I am without knowing me. Um, but hey, if anyone knows where that cat is, let me know. Knuckles, I think he was in Europe or something. I don't, I don't fucking know. That was my boy. He left me in a pile of blood, though, when I first met him. First time I met him, drinking Listerine. Um, I'll make a video. That's a good fucking video. You know, that's a good story. Um, that'll, that'll be my next one if I can remember and if I have time, guys. Um, but anyways, I love you guys. I got shit to do. Um, I'm going to bounce out on this one. Nothing but the utmost love and respect. I'll keep posting or keep doing videos about oil field life um what's happening oil prices you know just tell me what you guys want to hear because i i'm pretty sure i have all kinds of different subscribers now some oil field um some train hopping some that's out of nowhere coming from other channels um if any of you guys are watching like if any of you guys are looking for good channels, you know what I mean? Um, check out my boy Splinter, man. Fucking that dude's channel is a shit. Um, Dago Viking. Um, there's another another guy named Viking. Uh, I've been watching a little bit. There's a bunch now coming out. Um, of course, Wes Watson. Um, shit like that. People that are going to motivate you guys. Not somebody that's going to be, oh, yeah, prison, bro. Fucking, you know. And don't get me wrong, that's our story, guys, that is, and I respect it for what it is, and, and most of them are just telling you their story, they're not saying go to prison, none of them are committing crime anymore, which is respectful, most of them aren't even doing drugs, respectful, you know what I mean, I mean, god damn, it takes a lot to go from that life to that, same with me, I was a needle warrior, in and out of jail, I mean, I never went to prison, thank god I never got caught with the shit I was fucking doing, or else I wouldn't be here. Straight up, I'd be done. Oh, lockdown, fucking, it's completely done. But I, I have a head on me. I didn't get caught slipping like that. I got caught. Like, my charges, if you guys want to know my charges, you know what I mean? Because someone said I was a snitch or I would have been asking why, man. Fuck you. I'll put my paperwork on here. I don't give a fuck, bro. You can Google my name, Logan Patrick Clark. I was born in August 28, 1991. I will pop up on my charges. Um... But whatever, our case to look up if you want to look on that. If you think I'm discredited, I don't. I don't really give a fuck. Um, but I am what I am. Um, I mean, I respect you guys. Fuck yeah! Keep subscribing. Keep smashing that like, guys. Fucking if you have people to subscribe, whatever you guys want to talk about shit, you want to hear about shit, drug addiction, train hopping, punk rock, gutter punk, living on the streets, oil field, roustabout. You know, anything like that, just let me know. I'll try to drop earth shit if I can. I'll try to do some live videos from the rig. I mean, we're not really drilling, you know what I mean? We're just painting. I don't know if I can get in trouble for that. So I might not do that yet. Um, I'd have to ask the, the drill manager. Um, and it just be, people would probably just trip out and be like, what the fuck are you doing, bro? <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. Um, 
And again, you guys fucking stay positive. Keep on that grind. Some of you are still looking for jobs. Fucking hold in there, bro. Don't go out and fuck up and go to jail, prison, whatever you guys have done in the past. Just stay positive. That's what I did. I had nothing. Lost everything here a while back. And I'm still pushing. You know what I mean? It's all in your mind. It's what your mind does. It's your. You, this is the most powerful thing in the world. You know, if you can believe that. And you can keep pushing forward in positivity and believe in yourself. You'll go everywhere. Never let that negativity destroy you. You know what I mean? Don't let fear, anything like that. Um, anyways, guys, nothing but the utmost love and respect. Peace out.